Hey, welcome to Love Life Save. Tonight's a deal video is a little bit different than my normal coupon deals. I thought it'd be fun to help teach you some awesome ways to help save money on books if you're like me and you enjoy reading books. So a couple days ago, I went to my area Ollie's looking for some great deals on books. I found this super cute kids Christmas heroes book that I'm gonna use for a Christmas project. I was so surprised to see these Nora Roberts Christmas books. I mean, it's Nora Roberts and it was such an awesome price, only $1.99, a yes please. I was really surprised to see the young adult section. There was a bunch of books like the Serpent and Dove book, super popular book, only $2.99 and it's a hardback book. So I absolutely threw it in the cart. You didn't see it in this clip. I am trying to build up a stockpile of some great variety of books for a Christmas project with my neighborhood's low free libraries. Oh, check out this Ravens book. One, the front cover was amazing. The back cover was also cool, but it was a really cool story, young adult book about witches. So I thought it'd be cool. This one was also a really neat book. I've seen a couple times on TikTok. And again, a super cheap $2.99 price. See what I'm saying? There are so many awesome books at Ollie's. Such a wide variety. Every single time I end up with some great books coming home. Y'all, I saw this As the Wicked Watch book. I almost got this one by Tamron Hall. I've heard some interesting things about this one. If you've read it before, let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. See, there's so many cool books. Such a hidden gem. If you have a Ollie's around you, definitely take a moment and go check it out if you enjoy reading books. See, there's a bunch of Nora Roberts books. Okay, now, not only do they have great adult books, but they have some super amazingly cool kids books. Okay, this mom's jokes book was just funny. Like, dad joke, only smarter. I came real close to buying this one. They have this great variety of kids books. Check out this super cute board book that I almost got, I might go back for. Let's pretend Animal Hospital. See what I'm saying? Super cute, so many awesome deals. They even have a great variety of books for educational type books. I have picked up a couple for my son for preschool workbooks. They have a huge variety of options. Now, because the young adult section was right across the aisle from the kids' education books, of course I had to take another trip through, and of course I see several books that I didn't notice when I was in the store. So I'm seriously thinking about going back in a couple days. They had such a, a wide variety of books. Now, if your kids are in the sound books, you know how expensive they are. They had a huge variety of them. The majority of them were right around $3.99 to $4.99, which is a great price. And they had all your kids' favorite TV shows like Moana and Mickey Mouse and Frozen. Awesome deals. So moving on to the next section, if you've never heard of these little free libraries, they are my favorite thing since I've been enjoying learning to read books. And there are these little boxes all around your town. I promise you, you got a bunch of them where you can donate books and exchange them for new used books. So this is the first low free library that I checked out. I saw this awesome Chris and Hannah book. I've heard a lot of really good things about her books. Firefly Lane, I've never heard of this one, but I saw the Borders price tag on the back and it made me smile because that used to be my favorite bookshop. Then I saw this variety of the Laura Ingalls Little House on the Prairie books. I used to have a small set of these when I was a kid. I don't know what happened to them. I came really close to grabbing these because I wanted to read them again, but I left them for another reader, but they had some really great ones in this one. Out of this first little free library, I ended up taking home the Chris and Hannah book and I went to my car to get a book to donate. I keep a wide variety of donated books in my trunk. All kids books, there's adult books. I had this fun uh, Beauty and the Beast book. I have a lot of them. I wasn't quite sure which one I was gonna choose for this one because this little free library was actually relatively full. So I was kind of struggling a bit with this one. I ended up finding this super cool Night Creatures book. The owl just really caught my attention. And then I don't believe I found any more in this box. 
But in this one, I found one of the Captain Underpants books. And I know with young kids, that is a very popular one. So those are the ones I put in that box. Next up for our second little free library, this is hands down one of my favorite ones in my town. It is at our Wildlife Conservation Center. And it's such a cool environment. And if you, on the way to the Little Free Library, if you look real closely in the sidewalk, they even printed animals tracks into the concrete and they even label what animal it was. It's so cool. I love being here. It's just so peaceful. I had a little bit of a walk from where I parked to get to this Little Free Library. Some Little Free Libraries are right up against the road and some of them you have to do a little bit of a walk for, but it was, it's usually well worth it and it had a beautiful scenery so I absolutely didn't mind. Usually when I come to this little free library, it's really packed. Like most days I struggle to get anything out. As you can see, it was so empty, I was so sad. They had some mass market books, this stack of CDs, which I left behind. But with my donated books that I usually keep in my trunk, I absolutely had to restock this. I found this super cool horses and ponies books in my donation boxes and I added some other animal books because it was a wildlife refuge little free library. On my way to the car, I saw these super cute raccoon prints into the pavement. See, they have it labeled with all the different animals and it was really surprising me how much they look like little baby handprints. It was so cute. Our next little free library is really close to my house. I usually don't find anything in this one, but I always make it a point to come to this one because if I've ever learned anything with these little free libraries, you never know when you're gonna find a gem. This time it had a decent amount of mass market books. It had some other ones. I didn't donate anything in this book, in this box today because all the ones on the left-hand side were pretty much donated by me, so. I just shut the door and headed to the next one. I love coming to this one. It's a little bit more of a drive for me to get to, but I love how big it is and how it has this cool weathered vibe. It is huge. There are so many books in this little free library, two rows deep on both shelves, as you can see. They had a wide variety of some thriller books, some kids books. It was super cool. I ended up taking home this Mary Higgins Clark Christmas book for an upcoming Low Free Library Christmas project. Now, this is my, I call it my home Low Free Library. This is by far my favorite. As you can see, I have stocked this one pretty hefty. I always try to find good books to put in this one. I love going to this one. It just makes my heart happy. Now, if you enjoyed today's deal video, I was really nervous to do it because it's outside of my normal couponing deals video. So if you could take a moment, hit the thumbs up like button, leave me a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. This video is gonna be part of my upcoming book deals deal video series. I have another video planned for this coming weekend. I'm really excited about it. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.